actually, it's something that I haven't told my mom. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. Meet me before mom? <laughs> yeah. Please continue. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so during the quarantine, I fulfilled my lifelong dream of becoming a blonde. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Really? Is it nice? Shocking the world right now. It looks good. <laughs> we were just talking about. Yeah, maybe you should bleach your hair too. I told you. Good. I was thinking about it. I might just come out here and get my Cisco, yeah, Chris Brown cool. on. And the beard too. Dye blonde beard. <laughs> Why not? I'd probably be insta famous at that point. Nobody's got the blonde beard. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Black eyebrows. They'd be like, you weird. Unfollow. <laughs> Unfollow. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so um, it took me three months to dye my hair, and it's been three months since I spoke to my mom. Wow. <laughs> and uh, she's emailing me now. She's like, uh, Kiki, you said we got a video call. I, I, I got to go into this uh, accent. I mean, she doesn't really have that much of an accent anymore, yeah. but she's like, you got to, I thought we video called, but now I, I guess I'm not that important of a person uh, to you. I, I can hear her voice, but I read <laughs> her emails. This is how we communicate now. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I only gave birth to you, mm. but I'm not important. But the reason is because I'm scared what she's going to say when she sees my blonde hair. Right. She's Actually, I judge you. What did you do? Oh, she, no. She's, how dare you? <laughs> Ever since you started messing with them Hollywood people. <laughs> Does she live in LA? Where she live? No, she's in Hawaii. I haven't oh, seen yeah. her for she's like She's going to call years. you out. She's too busy with her weeds in the background. <laughs> but, oh, You're busy with the, uh, the LA weeds. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's what she's going to say. That's what she's going to say. <laughs> she, she, she's, I know what she's going to say. She's going to be like, oh, the bleach is going to burn your scalp and you're mm. going to get brain cancer. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn, I already got COVID to worry about. Right. I don't want to worry about... You know, getting brain cancer. Right. See, I just wanted to change, mom. You don't like it? Shit, it's not yeah. cute. Yeah. Shit, so, so I haven't, <laughs> haven't talked to her like, like video call because that's what she wants to do. Wow. Um. So I think, yeah. And you know, I've, I've never shown her any of my stand up either. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but she knows you do gonna... comedy. She just doesn't know how serious you are taking it, maybe, or what? I don't know if she thinks I'm doing comedy because I have a theater background. Okay. So. I, I had a one woman show that I did and she saw the flyer and in the back it, it was kind of autobiographical. Cool. So it was talking about how I, you know, roller coaster ride and this little girl coming of age, she defies her tiger mom. And then she saw that and she calls me. She's like, Kiki, you think I'm a tiger mom? <laughs> I'm like, Yeah. You're like, yes. <laughs> yes, you Nobody are. Nobody told you. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. like, it's okay. I turned out okay. <laughs> like right. I used to play three hours of piano every day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And and she wanted me to be a classic pianist, you know, classical pianist. Right. The stereotypes are true. Wow, wow. <laughs> you just she, letting everybody down now. It's you out here being funny and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She she wanted me to charge fifty dollars an hour. Wow. So you know, and and marry a, a Chinese doctor. Wow. So my life is set, right? Right. I get free checkups. Right. She was like, you fucking everything up now. Now you yeah. got. She's like, we. I don't even think she knows what really stand up is like. I, I think she liked like Rosie O'Donnell, but you know, mm. in the movies and stuff. But I don't, right. or Whoopi Goldberg. But I don't. Wow. I don't think she's like. I don't so you she, know what that means? <laughs> we gotta go to Hawaii and do a show. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. We finna fuck it up. Yeah, let's do it. We finna fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, laugh after dark. You cool. heard it, baby. We're going to Hawaii. Your mama's gonna be there. Yeah, she's gonna be terrified because all I do is talk about her in my set, like a lot of it. Oh, like, wow. She's like gonna about be shocked. My, oh, yeah, she's gonna be shocked. They're gonna be like, some chick with blonde hair is talking a lot of shit about <laughs> yeah, somebody like you. That kind of looked like my daughter before, but right. it's not my daughter anymore. She probably got brain cancer. That's why she's talking wow. like that. Wow. But. So, have you done comedy in Hawaii yet? No. no. Okay. I haven't even visited her. She's so wow. busy with her weeds. She won't let me go to visit her. What? Yeah, I know. What? Wow. You just <laughs> got to pop up and surprise her. It's expensive. It's like, I don't know, if whole family with my little five-year-old. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's like I don't know, 1500 2000 just for the, the plane yes, tickets. That is exactly why I haven't been to Hawaii <laughs> right. either. She's right. And then, it's expensive as hell. And then what if she doesn't <laughs> let me stay at her house? Right. Then, where am I? then you got to get a hotel. That's exactly. another thousand dollars right there. I'm not going to rack up that kind of debt. I don't for think my mom. Spirit Airlines fly to Hawaii. That's why you ain't seen nobody really Spirit? stunning and showing out. Yeah, you know, Spirit I like Airlines. Spirit. I flew Spirit before. It's not so but bad. But you ain't flew to Hawaii, have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> they fly everywhere domestic. All the places that all the, you know, the young yeah. folks like to go party. New Orleans, you can fly to Vegas. You can fly yeah, to, Vegas. You know, New York. Yep. 
you know, but Hawaii, they just like Hawaii was like, hey, don't bring that shit over here. All right. Don't we don't need y'all Insta posts. We need y'all here scuba diving for the first time on our shit. We got peace, we got lays. <laughs> Fall back. Yeah. That's dope. Okay. Yeah. yeah so. so what so your mom doesn't know you do you do comedy. How long have you been doing comedy and how did you I enter almost, into that? Almost four years or something. Four years. Yeah, I was just thinking about it the other day. Um, I, I started doing because I, I needed a new challenge after giving birth to my son. Right. It was like, now what? Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm not going to just sit at home and nurse this boy. And, right. and um, yeah, when I first, oh gosh, I, I lived in West Covina. Okay. So before that, I lived in San Diego. And nice. I, we used to drive two and a half, three, four hours, you know, traffic hour, rush right. hour to come up here for, you know, auditions and stuff. And then when I moved to West Covina, it was close for my husband. For his work in Anaheim. So nice. when I decided to become a stand-up comedian, I like signed up for this class all the way in Sherman Oaks. So it would wow. take me like two From hours. West Covina. Yeah. Woo. Like it's far. Roland Heights, where all the Asians are. Yeah. Like, have you been there? 60 Rolling Fairways? Heights? No, no. Roland Heights. No, no, no. Roland. I haven't been there. I haven't <laughs> yeah. been there. Well, if you like Asian food, you can try. It's pretty good over there. How about it? Yeah. yeah. But but it's far. And the 60 freeway, it's a nightmare, okay? Gotcha. And, and man, I remember those days. When I have to drive and I have to pump because I was still nursing my kid. He damn. was like two. Yeah, damn. It was Shout out to women, man. Y'all are dope. <laughs> Just the way that y'all are able to balance out parenting, being a mom. So I want to applaud you for that because, man, we we real. Fellas, we got to be real. We kind of soft, you know, when it comes to just, you know, we come home from work. We tired. When I come home from work, I don't want to hear shit. I just want to sit down. I don't, no, I don't have any more to give. But women, y'all y'all find a way to still give and be great and do great things. So yeah. uh, I think that's yeah. dope. Yeah, and then I, I was like, by son, and then I would drive two hours in traffic to go to this stand-up comedy class. And I took that for, I don't know, seven, eight weeks, and then I did my first show, and then after that, I got hooked. Damn. You know. It's like a drug. Yeah, it is, right? <laughs> it is. I was just going to ask, what was your first experience like? Was it, Did you do open mics? Uh, no, I, so I did that class, and gotcha. then I was I did the main stage uh, at Flappers. Nice. Burbank, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, so I have a theater background, so I'm yeah. used to doing, like, Shakespeare and monologue. Sure. So I was like <laughs> memorizing every word right, of my trying to really we rehearse. Man, man. It's so terrible. Well, yeah. I remember I like <laughs> I was so tired. I like I had my son. So I went up by the time I drove there, I took a nap in the car. Like yeah. in the, at the flappers parking lot, you know where they yeah. yeah. And I took a nap and then I was looking through my set. I was just like trying to remember every I'm like, oh my gosh. I was terrified. Right. Like because I can't be, you know, hide behind a mask. Right. You know, on when you're doing nowhere theater. else. Yeah. Yeah. If you're yeah. not funny, you're not funny. Like right. if you suck, you suck. Right. You get quick feedback. Oh yeah, quick <laughs> silence. Right. And it's kind of like, Boom. oh right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah, I went up there and and it was fine. It was it was interesting. I mean, I you know, I'm just hard on myself. I think it did yeah. better than I thought, but my first experience was good. Yeah. And then I started going to open mics and. Yeah. And doing more and more and more, and then I started producing. Cause I let's used talk to, about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because I used to produce like theater and right. sketch comedy, and I had a one woman show in say, Seattle and San Diego. So I, nice. I was like seeing so many other Asian comedians in right. LA. I was like, why don't we all just be on one show together? Right. Like, why am I only the only Asian right. or another one? When you know, so I was like, this is a no brainer. Just there's no rehearsals. Right. There's no tech. You know, they just come together and you give them a mic. If they're funny, then we got a show. Right. And then and then I did that, 2018. Go ahead. So what is it called? Crazy woke. Crazy woke Asians. <laughs> we out here, baby. <laughs> I love it. So uh, if you're in LA, you probably have heard. Uh, you've heard it before. You've seen the hashtag. You've seen yeah. the momentum that's been built with it. So kudos to you because I think that's yeah. dope uh, that you've been able to bring and establish a community, you yeah. know, here, which is awesome. So uh, uh, you came up with that idea and has just been producing shows throughout L.A. Uh, have you ventured outside of L.A. or do you anticipate to do so? Yeah, so we, we did a sold-out tour in Seattle Whoa. Like, last year. We were featured in the Seattle Times and nice. King 5, where I was from, you know? What? Yeah, so it oh, was, like, nice. crazy. Because when I used to do theater, it's, like, very scarce, like, audience. Like, you can count how many, right? right. But, like, when we went there with... I brought, like, three to four comedians from L.A. Sure. And then I booked local people. And, um, yeah, they were the lines were around the corner what? at laughs. Um, it was amazing. I, they did write-ups on us, and I, I was just, like... This is what I'm meant to do. <laughs> why? I was like, why did I do this like 20 years ago? Why was right. I trying to make it in theater? Like, 
was right. I thinking? Silly like, try to do Shakespeare. <laughs> like, like, I'm going to be like Desdemona. Like, come on. They don't need an Asian Desdemona. <laughs> right. like, whatever. Right. They need Kiki. They need it you. And yeah. I think that's the biggest thing that we as comedians, like, have to ultimately always bring it back to is me works. Yeah. Me is the ticket. Me being me. And we yeah. question ourselves. We're hard on ourselves. We're always yeah. trying to get to the next level. We're watching this comic do this. And we're constantly yeah. hard on ourselves. But as long as we stay true to ourselves, then it's just yeah. a matter of time. Yeah, so I agree. Dope. Just have to be be who you are and not not be afraid. Like, I used to be afraid that I have an accent. Because, yeah. you know, I'm an immigrant. I came yeah. to Seattle. I, we immigrated from Hong Kong to Seattle. You know what, where Hong Kong is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a British co colony. So I used to speak with a British Chinese accent. Mm. And then when I moved there, people make fun of me. Like, what, where do you get this accent? I started speak, speaking like a... You know, hello, like beautiful, right, like right. everything was like. Right, right. You, you were know, like, what, why the fuck am I doing this? Yes, right. why, why do I understand <laughs> what weird is? Like people right. call me weird and hyper, and I'm like, what? What are you? So it was like tough, and then I was, I was just became really depressed and introverted because sure. in Hong Kong I was very outspoken. I did theater, I sang, and thought I was gonna be a pop star. Wow. <laughs> that that is not gonna happen now. Yeah. But um, sure and, can. <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's very nice of you. Of course you can. Yeah. yeah. America, that's where dreams come that's, true. Yeah, anything see? is possible. Do you see Instagram? You see all the motherfuckers? I'm like, what the hell? How did he? No way. You see who's in the White House right now? Anything. Right. But I wasn't surprised here. that he got, he got <laughs> elected, though. Right. Like, right. he's so charismatic. But, yeah. yeah. That's. Different. Different. Yeah, totally different podcast. Different. Right. 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 <laughs> But now we have a woman vice president. That's true, man. So shout out to yeah, you know, them, Kamala man. That's, that's awesome just to see, man. Yes. So uh, speaking of diversity, uh, especially in the workplace, do you feel uh, uh, that you get the respect uh, that you want here? And also, like, have you been to Hong Kong and how do they accept you there mm -hmm. uh, now that you live here? Yeah, well, so when I went back, so after I graduated, I worked in Hong Kong for a while. I worked on some films and stuff. And, oh, cool. And I went So to they already knew you out there. When you went to L.A., they was like, go, girl. Uh -huh. Get them, girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's tough. Like, over there, they're like, when I speak Cantonese now, they're like, you sound like a baby. Mm. Like, I'm like, what? No, I don't. <laughs> like, you know, before I have to think before I speak English, because I was mm. worried about my accent. And then now I... I have to think before I speak Cantonese there. Wow. But they're, they're nice. I mean, there's no union over there. Mm. So when you do acting and stuff, it's different. It's really hardcore. It's like long hours and just, you know, you can really feel the, how do you say it? You know, the tier, like uh, who's the star and like the, the, the quality. Production, yeah. The production assistant and the produce. It's really hierarchy gotcha. over there. I'm sure it's, you know, here, but I feel like people are a little bit more welcoming in a way gotcha, like here. hong kong chinese people just like i don't like you or i don't need to be nice to you or they're just very blunt and right. bold and yep. i think i bring a little bit of that when i'm on stage now like because i'm letting kiki out more yeah so uh, it feels good my husband's like oh pandora box has opened <laughs> right like, come here kiki <laughs> right right <laughs> oh uh, he's just like wow you you have a lot of thoughts now right. like you talk like about stuff and that's I get good. all like yeah that means, you, that means you found your power that means you, you're speaking oh, up you found your confidence good. you found your thing so I'm gonna tell him that tonight tell him that he I probably ain't gonna be glad to hear who's this motherfucker Charlie Wilson <laughs> trying to empower my wife she got enough power <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> right 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 but I think that that's good and I feel like it's it's a movement you know across especially America with women that have become more empowered and more outspoken so yeah. I think that's a cool thing to see. I think women yeah. are, are dope and continue to do dope things, and they're going to be a big part of how we all heal as a country. So yeah. shout out to y'all. Yeah, and I, I agree. Like, I meet so many Asian female comedians, like moms. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Whenever I see, like, a mom comedian, I'm like, oh, I want to And she's <laughs> funny, I'm like, and she's Asian. I'm like, oh, where, where'd you come from? And right. then I want to book them on the show, and mm -hmm. it feels great. And then hear other people's stories. Like, because, you know, America, they always think, there's the stereotype that all Asians look alike, right? I don't yeah. know. But, but I mean, when I book the people, we have Vietnamese, Japanese, Koreans. Nice. I mean, we don't all get along, but sure. we, you know. Like, right. You're but, still together, though. Yeah. You're doing your part by bringing people together. Yeah. And, and so, still. yeah. and some of them are like, I've never performed with so many 
a different other Asian comedians right. before, and they've been in the game for like 10 years. Wow. So I feel honored that I get to. That's good. Yeah. Because you're bringing people together that wouldn't typically be no. together. And that's the beautiful thing no. about comedy and entertainment and the arts in general, because you bring a diverse people together that might usually live in their bubble, Yeah. which is, again, another reason we have so many problems in America is because people that have been in their bubble and they haven't seen that I mean, not every black person is like this. Exactly. Not every Asian person is like that. Not every mm -hmm. Mexican is like this. Yeah. So that's a good thing that comedy does. So I think that's amazing. Yeah. That you can. Uh, yeah. Someone calling you? Yeah. Switch that that, <laughs> that, that speaker out. Speaker's going dead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like it's it's great that they're you know they, and sometimes even I would get feedback that they feel, they've been doing their set so so often to just a white audience right. that they've never done it in front of oh, a bunch of Asians and, then, and they the bomb Asian, somewhere else yeah and, yeah right. and they realize some of the jokes are hacky like they have to adjust for the Asians right you know because I mean it's are Asians kind of are they tough critics would you say oh psh. Oh, okay. Y'all yeah. like black people then, man. Oh, we don't, give, we don't give no what? easy laughs, right? No hand No easy. Right. We don't like you. It's like, boo, get the hell. Right. Like, I mean, they, and then they don't laugh loud. They're right. like, <laughs> <laughs> like, whenever I try to tell my husband, like, right. a joke, like, I don't try to do that anymore. Because he's just like. <laughs> right. He won't give it to you. Right. He would be like, and then, and then, and then if it's really funny, he'd be like, hmm. I'm like, oh, you're such a joke. Right, like, right, like, right. Like, oh, God. But I mean, I guess you shouldn't. Experiment on your partner. I know my partner, wife. I do the same thing with my wife. It. I try material out with her, and she's just like, I mean, it's okay. It's quarantine. I'm just like, oh. I know. Well, I'm like, what do you mean it's okay? It's my first draft. Right, okay. Right, Why right. don't you listen to me? Right. Like, but he's just like, uh, so now I just, I don't know. I try to tell my son. <laughs> no, it's not really. Nice. He's five, so he's not really paying attention. Nice. You know, and with the quarantine, it's. I've been doing a lot of Zoom shows. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, those uh, those those those, those, are interesting. those are I don't know. That's kind of like a little segue drug. It's not the real yeah, drug. It's, it's not. like a segue, but it, it helps being able to do something. I've done yeah, some just to keep well. talking. Just to keep talking, because <laughs> I feel like sometimes it's like man, fuck Zoom shows, but it's like it's something. Yeah. I need yeah. something to be able to. I talk know a lot of people that said fuck Zoom shows and then they're doing it. Right. Like yeah. Yeah, you so. started getting desperate. Yeah. Yeah, you, you get desperate. You're like, <gasps> give me something. I know I can't get the real drill. But give me something, right? Oh, this will work for now. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Because <laughs> who knows when, again, the normal is going to look different even uh, when it does normal again yeah. anyway. So yeah. we all just kind of trying to figure it out. Yeah, totally. Dope. So what is your, what is your, and what's the end game? I mean, you got end a theater game? background. You're yeah. producing now. You're doing stand-up now. Where ultimately do you want to go? Take over the world. Take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy woke Asians. No. Right. Um, my end, well, t on Saturday, I'm, I, I'm, we're producing a show, which is kind of, it's called a comedian. Crazy Woke Asians Comedians Party Panel. Ooh. So the first show, we did it at the comedy store at the original room nice. in the window. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. So we're doing it at the Santa Monica Playhouse um, on Saturday. Nice. So it's just going to be me and like three other comedians. We, we're going to have like, we have like roast battle and compliment games. Nice. Like compliment it, games. Yeah, you. it's funny to see Asian people roast each other and yeah. compliment each other. Nice. Like, like it's going to be interesting. And then we, you know, we do like a panda uh, headline news, like news about the Asian American community. And nice. then we kind of discuss and debate. And then we shot some sketches. So I don't know. Like, I'm trying to incorporate that all this stuff. Fun. That Yeah, you should come on it. I want to go. Okay, I the next to. one. Please. Or even Saturday, if you want to stop by. I ain't doing shit, girl. Yeah. It's yeah. too much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're like yeah. crazy. Whoa. Yeah, Asian yeah. going to be like, who is his ass? I'm going to be like, he can't tell them I came with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's black and east. That's right. You see the low. I got the low ops. You see the. <laughs> I'm chilling anyway, but I'm gonna go in there sleeping and shit. I'm oh, in there, yeah. Man. oh yeah, no, Bring my eyes are popping. You Mine go in there sleeping. Mine are never shit. not. Mine are. Yo, I'm totally about it, so yeah. definitely bring me on. Yeah, totally. I'm serious. I'm with it. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah, it's at eight. I get off at seven. Oh, okay. I work in Pasadena. You know that we come from the same area. Oh yeah, yeah. Shit, cool. so I'm over there yeah. in Santa Monica. Yeah, and yeah, you know I'm the first it. time when I put Mark Christopher Lawrence. You know Mark Christopher Lawrence. He he was on the show Chuck. NBC. Oh yeah, he's yeah, awesome. Yeah. He's so funny. I Damn. put him. I was like, I, I, I don't want to just have Asians. So I put like him on, like, and then people were like, these Asians, they're vicious. They're like, I didn't know Mark Christopher Lawrence is Asian now. Then he's what? <laughs> like, what? They came for his ass. <laughs> yeah, but but I'm trying to like with these comedian panels. I yeah. want to diversify a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Girl, I'm all the diversity. You, you be the token man, one. <laughs> make me the token. I'm in there. No, I'd love to for sure. Yeah. After I get off of work, I go home, shower, change clothes. Yeah. Then fly to Santa Monica. I'm about yeah. it. Just I'm going to hold you up to it. Yep. 
I'm going to DM you now. Uh, I'm going to be like, yeah. Okay, I'll be like, I'll, there's three Asians and one black guy. And one black. That's yeah. me, baby. I'll be Just, there. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Yeah. All right, for sure. Well, please, man. Uh, I appreciate you for coming through. Yes, And, thank and you. learning more about you. I'm pulling up on you Saturday. Yes. No BS. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing to see Crazy Work at Woke Asians thrive. <laughs> Crazy Work. I know. It's just, they've been. You, what are you drinking? I don't know. It might be unleaded at this point. I don't know what they're giving me now. <laughs> Is it unleaded? And, and, just, and just so you know, it's Crazy Woke Asians. Okay, this is What did how, I say? You you said we're but okay, people are like, "Oh, it's a, it's a woke show. It's 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 woke." And it's like, okay, when I came up with this name, I was watching the the uh, that movie Get Out a lot, oh, and yeah. I was listening to Childish Gambino. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. So I was brushing my teeth one day. I was like, "You know, I am crazy and I'm awake." So right. uh, okay, so I, I just don't I don't want people to think, "Oh, it's a crazy woke show. We're in a woke meeting." Like right. sometimes the comedians come on, they're like, "Oh, I got to say some woke or right. this is not woke." And right. I'm like, it's just a comedy show. Right. Okay. Relax. You ain't got to be woke. You ain't got to be deep. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm just, we're just awake. <laughs> we're, 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 you know, Asians and we're doing comedy. That's right. woke enough for me. Right. right? right, right. And we're, we're going to. I'm yeah. in there. Yeah. Shit. We're going to have you up. on the show. For sure, for sure. <laughs> All right, well, please tell the people where they can follow you, where they can keep up with your show that's coming up, please. Drop okay. Your, drop your info. You can follow me at uh, Kiki Funny Mama or at Crazy Woke Asians. Um, Facebook. Instagram, Twitter. I'm not really on TikTok yet, even though I think I should be. But we, should, we could start tonight. You know, they dance and shit on that. <laughs> oh, hey, I can't dance. I'm not gonna hey. do no dance. Me neither. We, I'll just can, do impersonation of my mom. <laughs> You're gonna get brain cancer oh, with yeah. the brain. Shout out to your mom. You yeah, gotta, she to gotta watch mom. some shows. She might watch this. It's on YouTube. Oh shit! If she watches, she'd be like, "What?" <laughs> it wasn't my idea for the blonde hair, by the way, mom. Yeah, it wasn't my maybe idea. it's better this way. <laughs> she just sees me with the blonde hair, and I don't. Have she's to gonna like it. I think when she sees it, she's gonna be like. Oh, okay, it's cute at first. No, no, I didn't. No, no. no. You don't know her. All right. I'm She's gonna, gonna be like, ah, you're gonna get brain <laughs> cancer. That's all I hear every time. So I'm brain like, cancer. I'm, yeah. All right. Well, on next episode, we're gonna figure out why her mom is so tied to, bre to brain cancer. <laughs> she said bleach <laughs> is bad hair. for you. Oh, the bleach. Yeah, the bleach will give you brain cancer. That's right, what well. she thinks. Well, I'm going to take your mom's advice. I'm not going to Chris Brown my shit. Not, not Saturday. Chris, not in 2020. Saturday, I'm pulling up. Yeah, and you're going to have hair. Black hair. hair. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Do Tell with Laugh After Dark. It's your boy, Charlie Wilson. Big shout out to my guest, Kiki. Thanks for coming. Thank we'll see y'all next time, man. Hey. Like, subscribe, all of that shit. Yeah, Y'all know what to do, man. Do all of that shit. <laughs> Look, look at y'all out here tuning in, okay? Okay. No, hey, thank you for tuning in. You make sure you continue to tune in. Tell your friends, your baby mama, your baby, I, 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 tell him too. Make sure y'all like, follow, subscribe, support, all things do tell. I've been your host, Charlie Wilson. I'm here with Laugh After Dark, baby. You know how we do it.